exclusive. I'm a boss, bitch. Boss, Say bitch. the word, my young nigga, take you off. Take bitch. you off, bitch. I just came for the money. Set it off, set bitch. it off, bitch. Gotta go run up the bag. Can't be a house, bitch. Uh -uh. Now what you bout, bitch? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since y'all seen me. I've been going through, you know, my own shit, working on getting my life together where I need it to be, cause one thing I won't do is get on here and flex and fake like a lot of these motherfuckers be doing. I'ma really have my shit together before I get on here popping my shit, okay? But y'all, this story time is one of the most recent things that happened to me because a lot of my story times will be things that happened like in my past. But this shit just happened recently and I'm ready to let it out because motherfuckers have me pretty fucked up, okay? <laughs> Period. So, as you can see by the title, this story time is about the girl that stole my wig. Now, we gonna call old girl Felicia because she deserves that name, okay? I need to stop squinting my eyes. I know I'll be doing that. But anyway, as most of y'all know, I went to the University of West Georgia. And when I was there, I was cool with this girl that was hanging out with Felicia for a while. So that's where I know her from. I'm not really sure if we had exchanged Instagrams or how we really, you know, got in contact with each other. But fast forward, like two years later, this summer, July 4th, I had plans July 4th and they just didn't work out. So I was stuck with nothing to do, no friends. So um, she hit me up on Instagram like, oh girl, let's go here, let's do this. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we linked up and she was really cool. Like we had a good vibe. I was actually liking her. And so we, you know, started to keep in contact, hang out some more. She had invited me over for Sunday dinner with her mom. Like I would go to her house and stay the night and all kind of things. We would go out together and you know we was meeting a lot of people together when i would go to her house i would pack a big ass bag with a bunch of clothes all my wigs because i don't know when i'm coming home where we're going how i want to look i don't know so i would take all of my stuff over there now it was one time that i had went over there and i left my orange wig that you guys can see in my favorite wigs video this was before i cut it i left it over there and you know I realized I left it over there so I had texted her and I was like oh I left my wig over there like you know just keep it for me till I come get it and I had ducked off like I went MIA I didn't see her for like a month I didn't see anyone I was really in this motherfucking house like for a month when I finally linked back up with her I got my stuff and you know we would hang out here and there it was another time that I went to her house took all my stuff I was there for a while and then I was ready to come back home so I came back home and like two days went by and I wanted to put some makeup on. So I'm looking around my room in my bathroom and I can't find my makeup nowhere. So I'm like, where the fuck is my makeup? Like, I know I didn't leave my makeup at this girl house cause I would have noticed, you know, like that's my makeup. So I call her and I'm like, hey, did I leave my makeup over there? She like, yeah. Like, okay, it's been two days. Like, why haven't you let me know that I left my makeup over there? But I wasn't tripping. I was like, oh, damn. Like, I was wondering why I couldn't find it. Like, I'm going to be over there soon to come get it. Whatever, whatever. So, it had been, like, some more weeks that went by before I even went to go get that makeup. Because when I tell y'all, like, I've really been ducked off trying to get my money right and things. The weekend that's coming up, she wants me to go out with her. I'm really not feeling it, but I'm just like, whatever. So, the day she wanted me to come out with her was Saturday. And she texted me Thursday out of nowhere telling me that her boyfriend had sent her $300 to get her hair done. So I'm like, oh, must be nice or whatever. And so she's like, do you know any good hair vendors? So I told her like, yeah, Kendra's Boutique, like she's got the best hair. She's asking me like, how often do I use them? Blah, blah, blah. And so I'm letting her know. So my job, this is Thursday, 1 p.m. So she tells me order. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. Now, Saturday about 1 p.m., she was getting her hair done. And as y'all know, if y'all have ordered hair before, they do have overnight shipping. But that shit don't process unless you have your order in by a certain time. And it's only on business days. It's still one day you need to process. Basically, moral of the story, if she ordered her hair Thursday, she was not going to get it by Saturday and have it begin in her head. Like, that just wasn't going to happen. Like, that does not happen. Saturday, she's getting her hair done. I really didn't pay it no attention, to be honest. So, Saturday, she's getting her hair done. When she finished getting her hair done, I wrote her like, oh my gosh, you look cute as fuck. Like, yes, girl. 
Saturday night comes. She's like, you're still coming out with me. I'm like, okay, whatever, I guess. So she calls me on FaceTime. And she's like, we need to pick out what you're going to wear. So I'm looking around for my outfit. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to wear my ombre wig. So I start looking all around for this wig. And I can't find it anywhere. Like, I literally flipped my room upside down, inside out, looking for this wig. And I'm on FaceTime with her like, bitch, I can't find this wig. And I'm literally mad as fuck because I lose a lot of shit. Like, everybody knows that. But when I lose stuff, I don't lose it to the point where I cannot find it. Like, I'll lose it, but I'll find it. I cannot find this wig. So I'm sitting on the phone mad as fuck. Like, bitch, look around your room. Like, are you sure I didn't leave it over there because... Literally, this girl's house is the only place I've been in months. In months. Your house is the only place I've been in months. So you're going to tell me my wig's not at your house? Like, okay. So I'm mad as fuck. I'm like, bitch, I don't even feel like going nowhere. Like, I cannot find this wig. She's like, come on. Like, you going to find it when you're not even looking for it. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm already irritated. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just come over there. So I go over to her house. I'm getting ready. And I'm in the bathroom. And she comes in the bathroom while I'm in there. And she was getting something out the bathroom. But, like, I looked at the back of her head. And it was, like, ombre. Like, my wig. That's what it looked like. It looked like somebody had tried to put black dot over my hair. So I'm looking at it. I'm like... So I start touching it, like basically to let her know I see it. She's like, girl, how about this dumb bitch had developer on her comb when she was combing my hair and it got in my hair and dyed it. Now, I've been doing hair for so many years. Bitch, I know your hair does not dye with developer. You put developer in dye. You don't just dye your hair with developer like you're lying. But I let her have it. I was like, Oh, okay, you know, whatever. Because I'm still not thinking that my wig is really missing. Like, I'm not thinking that. Mind you, all night, I'm telling her how cute she is. Da -da -da -da. So the next day, after I had already left, I'm in my car, and an idea just slapped me in the face. Like, what if she took your wig? I'm like, <laughs> nah, that's crazy. She wouldn't try me like that. Like, no. And so, I'm just really sitting on it like, God has a way of telling me things. Like, I'll literally think I'm insane, but it really be the truth. Like, for real. I'm like, hmm, that's, that's an interesting thought. Let me go back to our messages. So, I go back to our messages, and I realized that when she had told me she ordered the hair, I was like, let me see. And she never replied. So, I'm like, hmm, that's weird. Like, why didn't she reply when I told her to let me see? Because when I have conversations with my female friends and they be like, they finna do this or that, buy this or that, I be like, let me see. Like, um, one of my friends, Kristen, shout out to you, boo, hey. When she be telling me she's buying stuff, I be like, ooh, let me see. She'll send screenshots for days of everything she done bought. So I'm like, that's really weird that she never sent the screenshot. So I text her and I was like, send me a screenshot of the hair you bought from Kendra's Boutique. And she didn't reply. So I start calling her. She's not answering. So she texts me, I'm at work. So I said, send the screenshot. She said, I'm confused. I said, how are you confused? Send the screenshot of the hair you bought. She like, I'm confused as to why I'm searching for my screenshot. Then she sends a screenshot and says, I'm not sure what you need it for, but here. Now, I'm finna put this screenshot on the screen, okay? And we gonna analyze this screenshot, all right? First of all, if you zoom in to the picture of the bundle, that's not Kendra's watermark on her hair. Okay, that's first off. Second off, Kendra's boutique doesn't sell mink hair at all. Third off, you told me you had $300 to get some hair, but that total says $461. Okay, on top of that, I gave you this website to get your hair. So where did you get a discount code from? Like, that doesn't make sense. Then, on top of that, y'all, this is where it gets real good. The time on the screenshot says 3.35. Old girl sent me the screenshot at 3.45. So why did it take you 10 minutes to send me a screenshot? This is, this is to top it off, bitch. The screenshot sprint. But old girl has Metro PCS. So I'm like, this hoe, first of all, is fucking retarded. 
Cause she been told on herself from jump, from telling me she's getting her hair done, when we don't really even talk like that. Like we don't talk enough for you to be telling me you're getting your hair done. Like baby girl, you told on yourself from jump. So now I know for a fact, this girl has my hair, this girl's lying to me. So I text her back and I said, um, you got it from Kendra's boutique, right? No reply. <laughs> so I start calling her again. I'm at work, what's up? Mind you, the girl has already told me she's not working right now because her job is seasonal and, um, you know, she's just not working right now. So I'm like, okay, you're at work. So I said, I'm just waiting on you to tell me that's my hair in your head. After I told her, I'm waiting on her to tell me that's my hair in her head, we just ended up going back and forth and she's trying to convince me that it's not my hair when I know it is for a fact because not only have I seen the color of my wig in your head, my wig is missing, my wig is nowhere to be found still to this day of me recording this video. Mind you, this ain't even the first time old girl has stole from me. The first time she stole from me, I had a whole bunch of ones um, and I didn't have no pockets or no bra, none of that. So I asked her to put it in her purse for me, to hold for me. And when I ended up asking her for it, she had no idea what happened to it supposedly, but nothing else was stolen out her bag, just my ones. And I literally flipped her bag apart and didn't find it, so apparently she spent it. But that didn't really mean too much to me in some words. Like, I'm not really tripping over that. But I'm convinced that, you know, bitches really think I'm dumb because I let a lot of shit slide. I let shit slide that don't matter, that's not that serious. But bitch, don't think I'm stupid. Don't think you can walk over me, bitch, because I'm not the one. That's where people get me messed up. Like, baby girl, I'm not dumb. I'm far from it. Like, honestly, I might as well be a detective because I don't think anybody else would have found this out like I did, okay? It's a lot of things that I've done that I don't really feel like I need to say on this camera. But, like, don't try me. Like, I didn't even get to the good part. <laughs> I didn't even get to the good part, y'all. So, when this immediately happened, like when I really like learned that this hoe has my weave, I wanted to fight. I wanted to fight. I was like, bitch, I'm finna fuck you up, like period. And so I'm posting about her on my Instagram. Like she really took me out of my character cause I'm not even that type of person, but I'm posting her like this, she got me the right? So in the midst of that, this girl that I met through her wrote me and was like, you know, I know what type of person she is and I was waiting for something like this to happen. I'm like, what do you mean? So I call her. And she proceeds to tell me that this girl is 17 in high school. <laughs> and she's been lying about her life. Like, she has multiple Instagrams. She has an Instagram where she's a high school student, an Instagram where she's a college student. Like, baby girl, you're putting in so much effort to be somebody that you're not. I don't understand why people do things like that. So anyways, lesson learned. Don't trust people at all like be smarter move smarter okay after learning that she's 17 i'm like i can't even fight this girl like now i gotta tell your mom where's your mom give me her number i'm telling her like period she need to whoop you or ground you or something because you you doing too much out here and i told her from jump like it's bitches that ain't even as mature as me that will really drag you through the fucking dirt for stealing that shit and i ain't even gonna do that now that i know you're 17 i'm definitely not gonna do that but like come on Get your life, okay? Get your life together. Stop it. Don't do that. Don't rush it. You will be grown one day and you gonna wish you wasn't. So stop acting like you're grown now and enjoy your childhood, okay? But yeah, y'all, that's the story about the time she stole my wig, okay? Protect y'all wigs at all costs because she's out here waiting to get a sewing. <laughs> I hope you guys like this if you know me personally and you know about something that I went through a story leave it in the comments that you want me to do a story time on it um because outside of that I'm gonna have to wait for some new things in my life to happen that I could do a story time about but I hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe my birthday is October 28th if y'all want to do anything for me for my birthday all I would like is a subscribe a like, a share, you know, that's all I wanted, some support for my birthday. You know, I'm gonna leave the cash app in the description box. If you got that life, you can send me some cash. If not, support is fine. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.